Hi, I'm Roman and this is Massive Voodoo TV. Today's topic is about dust on your miniatures. May it be display busts, may it be display single models, may it be gaming figures, may it be, may it be large monsters or even dioramas. Dust is the enemy. I'm pretty sure you find some dust on your miniatures once in a while. Dust can settle down everywhere. In this video, you will learn how to de-dust your miniatures for gaming, for presentation, for taking photos, for doing videos, and also for bringing them to exhibitions and events to show it to your friends. You can get very experimental with dust proofing your cabinets. You can find a tutorial to Massive Voodoo link down below. I will explain techniques to de-dust your miniatures in this video on the well-known diorama The Last Light, a diorama I did in 2013, which is now getting picked up by its new owner, a collector from Sweden. And to be honest, it got a little bit dusty. Of course, I was doing the de-dust process every two years, but now handing it over means a goodbye for me. But on the other hand, I also want to present it to its new owner in the perfect shape. That's why I'm sitting down for one day to de-dust the project. And to be honest, I'm not using this no, 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 no. I'm not using this. No. There are several tools you can use. I use them in different stages of work to make it look as new. Removing every corner of dust. Let me explain that to you. This will take me one day, but I'll take you on that journey to help you learning about de dust in your miniatures. Enjoy! Dust is the enemy. And you see how dusty this is. Holy moly. You need some soft makeup brushes, different sizes, your airbrush, some gloves optional if you need them, super glue and a toothbrick in case you have to repair something. For super detailed work you can use eye glass cleaning cloth and a toothpick. You need some clean water, some patience and some good music. First I'm taking the largest soft brush I have and go for the main work and bring off the main dust. Not going into detail here, it's just like getting into the workflow. Then I'm using my airbrush without paint in it, of course. Take good care of this. Accidents could happen. I'm bringing up the air pressure. You can control how much pressure you want with this. And with it, I go onto the diorama and bring off the dust on the main surfaces. I cannot tell you the exact air pressure you should use, as this depends on the project you want to be dust. You might know the air compression cans you can buy for cleaning your computer. These work fine for gaming miniatures but with very fragile objects, I would not recommend them because you cannot control the air pressure. As soon as this is done, I'm taking, I'm taking a smaller soft brush and some water, sometimes some saliva, to get into detail work cleaning up smaller areas. Make sure when you clean up some elements to wash out the brush again, because if you don't, then you're just pushing dust around. In this stage, it's beautiful to see how the dust disappears and how your project will have its old beautiful shine again. For detail work you can use the eyeglass cleaning cloth and wrap it around the toothpick. With the sharp cleaning cloth tip you can now go into really um, cornered areas and dust these off. In about 10 days I'm handing over the project to its new owner. As I was cleaning this up, I also decided to do a new video on it on white background in 4K because back then in 2013 I created just a simple HD video and I really want to say proper goodbye to this massive diorama. Thank you for watching and dust off your miniatures once in a while. They deserve it. I hope you enjoyed this. Roman out. Bye bye. And keep on happy painting.
love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up.